morning children and welcome back to the online classes we are now moving on to our next exercise and that is exercise 3.2 sum number 1 our target for today will just be sum number 1 with all its parts a b c d e and f so the first video will be for these three sums and the next video will be for the next three sums let's read the instruction from the textbook it says add the following Again, I'm telling you, instructions are not going to be written by me. Instructions need to be written by you. Please make use of your textbook also. So they are telling you, uh, telling us to add these numbers. Now remember, we cannot add these big numbers on a number line, and they don't tell us also to add it on a number line. So we are going to do it mentally and by the method where the use of a number line can be avoided. Without using a number line, we are going to add these numbers. So we have minus 75 added to minus 65. There's a particular pattern. Please follow this pattern of doing the sums. I'm doing all the sums for you, but you must follow my instruction and see the explanation as to how these sums are to be done. Many of you, once again, I remind you, are just directly pausing the video where the sums are and copying your own. It's not going to benefit you. You will not be able to know how these sums are being done. So it's a humble request once again. Please go through the video, understand the sums, and then copy it into your notebook. So what's the pattern and what's the method? So first I write minus 75. This has to be added. I put minus 75 in a bracket. It has to be added to a negative 65 that also goes into a bracket. All the sums that we will be doing, we will be putting them into the brackets and then taking them out. Whether we are adding or whether we are subtracting, the rule is that you must put the numbers in the bracket with the operation in the center. So we are adding, so this is the operation. The operation will always come in the center, in the center, in the center, even for these two sums. But the numbers also in these two sums as well as this sum will go in brackets. Because this is a negative 75, this is a negative 65. And what am I doing to both of them? I am adding them. So this plus is not a is not plus a number or positive a number or telling us that, that a number is positive. This is telling us the operation. This is telling us that I have to add. Here plus means addition. It is not attached to a number. A sign has two, two uses as I told you in my previous video. When I explained, when we started with integers. The sign has two uses. One, it is attached to a number telling us it is a positive number or negative number. But when it is not attached to a positive or negative number, it is telling us that it is an operation, addition. We are adding these two. Now remove the bracket. This bracket comes out as it is. No changes because there's nothing to be multiplied at the left hand side to remove the bracket. But here there is a positive or a plus sign outside. Now again you're going to be saying, sir, say this is positive plus sign. But here I have to take this operation of addition as a sign also because I have to multiply what's outside with what's inside to get this bracket removed. So here plus into minus, you look at the chart, it says minus. So I get minus 75 minus 65. Both have the same sign, negative sign. So I will add both of them. When the signs are the same, I add. When the signs are different, I subtract. So plus plus add and put plus, minus minus add and put minus. So 5 and 5, 10, carry 1, 6 and 1, 7, 7 and 7, 14. Put the sign, same sign. So my answer is minus 140. So this is how the, all the sums have to be done. Let's go to part B. So again, I have minus 75 in brackets. Add it to plus 65. Your plus, no doubt, is the operation, addition. But it multiplies with the sign to help me to remove this bracket. Remember that. This minus 75, the first bracket comes out as it is. Always. The first bracket comes out as it is. No changes. 
because there's nothing to the left hand side that I have to multiply to remove it. But here I have something outside the bracket that is a positive sign. So plus into plus gives me plus if you look at the table that I had made you write down. The multiplication of signs, you have to learn of that table. A plus into plus into plus, minus into minus is plus, plus into minus is minus, minus into plus is minus. The rule for addition and subtraction is different from the rule of multiplication and division. Now one is a negative and one is a positive. So here the signs are different. I won't add them, I will subtract them. From the greater, I will take away the smaller. 75 take away 65 answers 10. I will put the sign of the greater number. Answer minus 10. So basically, first I put them in brackets so that I can remove them and get their actual value. Once I get their actual value, if both are the same signs, I add and put the same sign. But if both are different signs, then from the greater I am supposed to take away the smaller and put the sign of the greater number. As we do sums, you will understand better. Let's go to the next one. Again, I put minus 105 in brackets. This has to be added to a negative 256. Now, next step, I remove the bracket. The first one removes on its own without any changes. The number remains as well. Minus 105 remains minus 105. But here, plus into minus. If you look at the table that I have given you of multiplication of signs, plus into minus. Because the rule says in order to remove a bracket, I must multiply what's outside the bracket with what's inside the bracket. What's outside the bracket? Which side to the left hand side of the bracket? Not to the right hand side. Remember that. So plus into minus gives me minus. 2, 5, 6. Now again I have come up with a scenario which was similar to my first sum where both the numbers are negative. So when both numbers are negative, I add them and I put, I put the negative sign. 6 and 5 gives me 11. Carry 1. 5 and 1, 6 and 0 gives me 6. And 2 and 1 gives me 3. And I continue to put the negative sign because both are negative. Positive, positive, when we add in subtracting, positive, positive number, positive number, positive number, add, put a positive sign. Negative number, negative number, add, put a negative sign. But one positive, one negative, then you have to see which one is greater. From the greater, take away the smaller and just put the sign of the greater number. So these three sums have to be done this way in 